This week's video, for some reason, was filmed in slow motion. Not really sure how I did that. Hello and welcome to Colin's Time to Bake. This week I'll be making strawberries and cream cupcakes. Oh, and they're vegan. Don't forget to click subscribe below and if you like this week's recipe, click the thumbs up. If you click the bell, it means you'll get first look at my weekly uploads. For all of my regulars, I really do appreciate everything you do, including those leaving comments below. And to all my new viewers, hey there. Do you know that I do musical baking videos? No, you do not. Oh, thanks. Start by preheating your oven to 175 degrees, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 4. Get 250 milliliters of soy or vegan milk and add in a teaspoon of cider vinegar. Leave this to one side. In a bowl, sift 350 grams of plain flour and add 2 tablespoons of corn flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix together and put to one side for a minute. In another bowl, pour 80 milliliters of rapeseed or vegetable oil. Now add your milk and vinegar mix and blend this together until lightly frothy and add it to 180 grams of caster sugar and mix this again. Now pour your wet mixture into your dry mixture and mix yet again. Are we all following? Excellent. Now take some red or pink food coloring and add until lovely bold pink color emerges. Add one to two teaspoons of strawberry flavoring and one to two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. Take your cupcake tin and line with some cupcake cases. You can get some snazzy ones from icegymshop.com, link is below. I have some snazzy blue ones, but it didn't really work with the pink ones, so next time I'll be getting pink. Take an ice cream scoop and scoop into your cases. One scoop should be enough for each case and this recipe makes 18 cupcakes. Amazing! Put this into your oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until a knife comes out clean. I like to put a tin foil on the top because the cupcakes are paranoid that the government are listening to their thoughts. But also it gives them a nice even rise and then you can take it off for the last two to three minutes and that will make sure that the top is nice and good. Once ready, take out and leave to cool on a wire rack. Now time to make your buttercream. It's vegan buttercream, so that works well with the cupcakes, otherwise that would be really awkward. Take 150 grams of vegan butter and 150 grams of vegetable shortening and mix this in a bowl with 300 grams of icing sugar. Mix until combined, scrape down the edges and then add a further 300 grams of icing sugar. Mix this again and then scrape down the edges and then add, add one to two teaspoons of strawberry flavoring. Then add up to 100 grams of icing sugar until you get a nice stiff consistency. Now you'll want to half the buttercream and put one half into a piping bag. If you can't fit it all in one bag, you can leave it to the side and add it later. But make sure you have one bag with white icing because the other side will be pink. With the half your colouring, take the colouring from before and add it to this half of the buttercream until your desired pinkness. It's up to you really. Put this into another piping bag. Now take a third piping bag with a nozzle attached this time, whichever one suits you, it's up to you. I don't know the technical terms for it, but this one has a star in it, so that's fancy enough for me. This bit's quite tricky, so take your pink and white icing bags and snip off the ends so there's a good hole, and then lightly drop into the third bag together. You may need to shake the bags so they drop down evenly, making sure that they reach the end at the same rate. They want to be on the same level. This gives you a cool two-tone look to your icing, hopefully. But before you ice your cakes, we'll be cutting a small hole in the middle of your cupcakes. So take your nicely cooled cupcakes and scoop out a little well in the centre. Fill this with jam. Now it's time to pipe your buttercream. Pipe it however you wish, but I'll be starting from the middle, spiralling out to the edges and back in again so it looks like an ice cream. Finish off with some embellishments. I've used red sparkles, red dusting and silver dusting that I got from icegemshop.com. Done, it looks snazzy! Cheers. So that's it! We have now made our delicious strawberries and cream vegan cupcakes. Don't forget to subscribe for more and check out my other vegan bake, including gin and tonic. Woo! You can find me on social media, say hi, and then check out my website for a step-by-step -step guide as an accompaniment to this video. Excellent. My name is Colin, this is Colin's Time to Bake. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.